guys, hi guys, how's everybody doing? Um, it's Thursday afternoon, my name is Crystal. I'm, I'm at my flat, I'm by myself. Uh, you know, I'm trying to be myself, and myself is quiet, myself is kind, I like to help other people, I don't shout, I don't scream, I let the odd swear word out, I must admit. But when I'm stressed, when somebody upsets me, they put me down, they make nasty comments about me, I used to get upset, get stressed, and start acting in a way that wasn't me, okay? Now I've come to terms with the fact that people are still gonna carry on doing what they're doing anyway whatever i'm like whatever i'm wearing even if i go and have my hair done at the hairdressers if i'm looking really good they're still going to be the same because they want to be me to be that angry person that goes around looking looking mental and this is done because it's done to cover up the abuse that was done to me as a child and when I returned to Chatham in 2008, right? When someone is abused, when they're being mocked, laughed at, as people are being cruel to them, they're going to be, they're not going to be happy, are they? They're going to get cross. Now I've learned to control my feelings. It's taken a long, 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 long time. And for about a couple of weeks now, I've calmed myself down. I don't get stressed, whatever is thrown at me, right? So let's go back to today. Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 12.15 p.m. It's 12.15 p.m. I went to bed last night and I managed to have a decent night's sleep. I live by myself and um, I just, before I go to bed, I might light some candles, I might listen to some meditation music, I might watch a film. And then I relax and go to bed. I woke up this morning because my phone went off at 20 past 7. I was still tired because maybe I'd gone to bed about 12, 1 a.m. I'd got up at 3 o'clock this morning thinking it was time to get up and I'd gone back to bed. But I did have a good sleep right up until 7 in the morning when my WhatsApp went off. I answered the phone call. And I had a chat, put the phone down, I tried to go back to sleep and I couldn't. I couldn't because I'd been woken up. Right? I wasn't angry, I wasn't upset, and I lent someone some money or I gave it to them. My choice, my choice. You can say no, I wanted to help out, so I gave someone some money. And I don't give someone money if I'm going to go without myself, do I? Because that would be stupid. I wouldn't lend someone money if I didn't have any money. So, my mum helps me out. My mum helps me. I, and then, you know, I return the favour. I help somebody else. So, my mum helped me and I help somebody else. It goes all the way down the line, you see. So I've got money and, and I've got a home shopping delivery coming today, Tesco's, so that's food. I've got money in my purse, so I'm fine. So I give someone some money, my mum rings, because maybe someone thought, oh, I'm going to go up to my mum's. I know, I'm, I'm indoors at Corey's Road, Road Rochester. And um, my mum said she wasn't feeling well and she put the phone down. I don't go to my mum. I go up to my mum's once a week and I'm very, very careful with my money now. Very careful. What happened a few days ago was something unexpected came out of the bank and it made me overdrawn, but it sorted itself out and I'm now in credit, right? So that's, that's okay. So I put the phone down after my mother had rang and I started to feel a bit 
agitated, you know, a bit off. Because I told the doctor, I said, when my mother rings, I feel depressed and off colour. So I started to feel off and my mood had changed from being happy to being a bit, you know, off colour. So I'm keeping an eye on myself. I'm keeping an eye on myself. And I tell you why. Being kept in isolation, being kept in isolating conditions with no company and no support can drive some people to suicide. With people keep taking the mickey. Now I had someone underneath my balcony yesterday go, Oh, I look like Nanny McPhee. And she put a coat over her head. And I just ignored that because she was obviously talking about herself. Perhaps she did look like Nanny McPhee. I didn't see her face because her head was covered with a coat. Not that I could care less, but when someone's shouting it underneath your balcony, you can't help but hear it, can you? I'm not deaf. I've got ears, so I'm not deaf. I heard it. So if you keep bombarding somebody with negative thoughts, nasty words, and they're isolated, you can tr they're trying to drive somebody to suicide because they're guilty of covering up child abuse and God knows what else. So we're all used to that, not interested, I shut my ears to it. If I'm ugly, so are you, if you've heard that song. If I'm ugly, so are you. And why am I getting bombarded with dating messages if I'm ugly? You wouldn't bother, would you? Would you text somebody for pictures if they were ugly? No, you fucking wouldn't unless you were mad and nuts, which I probably think the perpetrator is. So I got up um, after my mother's call, made coffee, uploaded videos to YouTube, took Max out for a walk. And I went on to the Rochester Riverside field. And the builders were out. There was a couple on the field talking to a, to a single man. And there were builders building. And some of them were sat on the bench. Some of them were eating. I'm not taking videos. I'm not, not doing videos outside. Um, I'm very, you know, being very careful now what I'm doing. I'm being very sensible and I'm not losing my temper. The French bloke was on the top of the roof. The one that I had a set to with about Max, and I've been quiet for two over over a month now, just minding my own business, keeping Max under control and keeping out the way. And I was wearing trousers, jeans, and this T-shirt, and I also had a jumper over my back. There was a builder about seven foot walking past me, no word of a lie, like some of these coppers that came out to Lansdowne Court. Seven foot, right? People keep asking me on Flirt Finder how tall I am. They keep asking me how tall I am, so I don't know who these people on Flirt Finder are, but there's a builder working over there today that's about seven foot, and I'm tiny. And I told you, one of, they don't like Max. A couple of them don't like Max. And they act aggressive towards Max because he's protecting me. He's tiny. He's smaller than a cat. He's nothing to be afraid of. They don't like him because he protects me. When I'm on my own, anyone can come up to me. When Max is there, he, he wards them off. He's protecting me. That's what a dog does, and he's a good dog, right? He's doing his job, he's looking after his owner. He keeps people away from me, he knows, he knows who's nice and who's nasty. Do you know what I mean? So I'm walking around the field, I'm, I'm listening to music, and on the way back, there's a bald-headed builder on the bench, bald-headed. And as I go towards the top, he gets off the bench and he goes into his builder's area. And that's when this seven foot builder comes towards me. He goes in and then you've got a young builder stuffing his face full of food because I've just given someone some money. And it's not a small amount of money either. It's quite a, a, a large amount of money for me. And I've got builders eating in front of me. 
so it's definitely a connection with the threat finder messages and what is going on with our outside. Definitely. I don't give a flying fuck what I look like. And why would other people bother? They don't know me, they don't know who I am. I'm a nobody, I'm a common person. So why would they bother looking at me in the first place? I mean, we've got lots of people, celebrities, that have had funny teeth. We've had Ken Dodd. We've had Alan Carr, the comedian. We've had Freddie Mercury that became a really, really famous legend of a singer that had funny teeth. People used to take the piss out of Freddie Mercury. I bet he laughed his fucking socks off when he got famous and raked the money in. What a bunch of idiots he probably thought. What a bunch of wankers. You don't have to be beautiful to be famous. You don't have to be beautiful to run the country. You don't have to be beautiful to be a king or queen. Now, can you get off calling me names, whoever you are, because I'm sick and tired of it? You're a fucking ugly troll. Fuck off. Right. That's the only thing I'm going to say that's that's risque, I'm going to remain cool, calm and collected outside. You can throw a barrage of abuse, you can stamp, stamp on my feet, you can push a woman out the way and say fuck off behind my back. I'm not interested. I'm grown up, I'm mature and you're obviously not. See you later. <laughs>